All right, so we're back doing the collision repair. I wanted to spray one with you guys for the uh, collision repair techs out there. And we got our favorite color in the OEM. It's the uh, 46V. So we had a little repair on this here door. And I'm going to show you how I like to handle the 46V because we're getting close to the hood on this. So we're going to do a couple techniques that you guys have seen probably before. But we're going to pull all of them out on this one here because you guys know this is not an easy color to spray. And uh, it's definitely more entailed than the normal three-stage paint job. So we're going to get this thing in the booth. We're doing the side of it. And then we got the bumper. It also got a little bit of a repair on this here corner. So let's get it in there. And uh, we'll start rolling with this 46V and see if we can duplicate this beautiful candy color that it has. All right, so we're in here now and we're masking up the job. And when you're masking up one of these 46 Vs or anything with the candy in the clear, you're gonna have a lot more build than a normal base coat, clear coat, three stage. So this one has the dye in the actual clear coat. So you have a lot more mills of paint. So when you're masking up these cars, normally I would back tape this. I'd hang it up over the edge and then I'd close the hood, fold it back. So that way that this is sealed up. But when you're doing these 46 V's, you want to take into consideration that you're going to have a lot of excess build on the edges of your panel. So you'd want to make sure we're going to go ahead and we're going to tape it in here and then we're going to tape it and paper it off and cover the hood up and do it differently. That way the gap is open on this because if you get into a bind and you end up having to put more material on, you can have problems with bridging on your actual tape because you're going to have a lot more build up on this. So you guys see we back taped it, but we tucked it down into the valley here. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this up and tape this off here and paper this the old school way and leave the gap open. We're not going to back tape it on this one. And you want to make sure you do that with these 46 V's. So I'm going to continue wrapping it up and then we'll get into shooting it. All right, so now you can see that we have a gap from the fender to the hood, and that'll eliminate any bridging that you might have. If you're used to doing the old back tape trick, because that's how I usually do my normal paint jobs, I uh, go to this technique when I'm doing the 46V, just in case you get into a predicament where you got to put a little bit more material on than you like, you're uh, able to do that. So make sure you do that type of taping when you're doing these. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my fold tape on my jams and uh, finish up this and we can close up the door. All right, so we got our fold tape on and now you'll see these little pieces of tape that I put to hold the actual fold tape tight against the body of the car as I'm masking it up. And uh, I learned this little technique here from a buddy of mine, Steve, that I was painting with years back and it really works good. So as you're masking up the car, it'll form it to the actual body line of the car here. And by the time you get done and you're ready to clean it, you'll just pull your tape off and uh, get ready to paint it. So really good tip to forming the tape into the actual jam on that. So try it out and see if it helps you. So we're gonna finish bagging this one up and then we'll move into the painting and how I am gonna mask it up when I actually do the ceiling and basing on this one to uh, eliminate us getting too far here because we're really close. Once you close this door, I'll show you with one pass, you're going to be onto this hood. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you how we're going to do it.
All right, so we're ready to go now. We've got it clean. Always clean your blend panels before you clean your primer because you will transfer primer dust onto your blend panel. So I like to use a new microfiber towel and I do my blends first, then I go back and I do my repair area and that keeps your blend areas cleaner. So now that we've got it all clean and I did use a solvent-based cleaner outside the booth around all my edges to make sure there wasn't any uh, armor all and stuff because this is a newer vehicle. So clean your edges around the panel with a solvent-based cleaner and that'll eliminate a lot of fish eyes and have your tape sticking a lot better. So if you see here on the job, we are very close to the actual hood from the door on this vehicle. This is a two door. So with this door being so close, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mask off my fender and my quarter panel on this one and apply my sealer. And I'm also gonna apply my base coat and get full coverage on the door before I unmask it. Because with eliminating all those coats and all those oversprays, I'm gonna be able to keep this a lot closer on this fender and eliminate us getting too close here to this hood. So we are gonna get close and I have a spray out card. Our color is very, very close on this one, but I wanna take all precautions and try to keep this as minimal as I can. So we're gonna eliminate the sealer and the base until we get covered. And then we're gonna move into our base. We'll wet bed the fenders once we pull our paper. So let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, so we've got our sealer on and I used the Fuji spray and that is a 1.3 head on that gun and I'm spraying that gun at 24 PSI for the sealer. And it lays down a nice, beautiful flat coat of sealer. You guys seen how nice it looks. So make sure you start off with a nice smooth foundation. That way that's how your paint job comes out in the end. Because if it's lumpy and bumpy, that's how the outcome is gonna be of your job. So we have the spray out card here, it's verified. And we're gonna go ahead now and mix up our base, get coverage on the door, and then we'll be pulling our paper to do our blend of the base. And then we'll move into our candy concentrate that goes into the actual clear coat for the PPG system. So let's go ahead and get on the base coat. All right, so now you see why that color is such a hard color. They put that real pinky looking metallic -y base down. And in order to get that vivid look, they're using a real vibrance candy right from the uh, custom line from uh, PPG. So they're using it in a concentrate, which once you put it into the clear, it makes it like a UK house of colors candy. So once we get coverage on the job, we're gonna go ahead and pull the paper and then we'll start blending out. We'll wet bed everything and we'll move into the candy.
All right, so now we have our base and we have full coverage on our door. We've pulled our paper and now we're going to go ahead and make sure we re-tack the job off on these panels here. Don't tack off your base because the latex is sticky, but if you're using a solvent, you can tack it. I don't like tacking off my base in the between coats and uh, I just tack it one time in the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead now and tack off these panels here. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our wet bed. And then we're gonna do our blending on the uh, base coat. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're all blended out now. I put two coats and blended it out into my wet bed. And now you can see that it is matching now. The fender and the door match each other here. And we have very little color up here on the top now. So if we were to have done it the other way on this one, this made more sense to uh, cover up these fenders and alleviate as much overspray on this fender as we can. And we only have a little bit back here at the back. And now we have all this here with the uh, no overspray on it so i went ahead and went all the way down here you want to go ahead and take that color all the way to the bottom here and lose it right in this roll because that is a good spot to hide it you don't want to just put a little four inch strip of the base right here because you'll have a chance of seeing your blend so on something like this go ahead and take it all the way to the uh, wheelhouse and then lose it up top that way you have more chance of hiding your blend on that so that's the best way I've had luck doing it. Same thing here, I went all the way to the end of my wheelhouse and then I lose it right here on this arch. That way I have more room to uh, hide my blend on it. So this color is good, but once you put your candy here, you're gonna have a little bit of overspray here and this is gonna be the problem where it starts to darken past your uh, base coat because you're putting more candy over candy that's already here. And that's the tricky part about this job here. So we've got it now to where I feel like we're gonna be good. And now we're gonna go ahead now and mix up our candy in the clear coat and hit this one here and get a nice outcome on it. So also I showed you this here rocker. This is for the I-8 I showed you. And it was two-tone and I had to take and uh, paint this section here first earlier in the day and then cover it up the way that it was masked. You had to do the gray first and it's actually a satin finish here. And then this is going to be gloss. So I showed you that job because this was in here in case you guys seen it and wanted to know what it is. So let's go ahead and mix up our candy concentrate from the Vibrance line now in our 2021 clear and get this thing looking nice. All right, so that's one coat of the candy and that was mixed in my 2021 normal clear that I normally use. So I'm gonna put about two and a half coats of the candy on and then I'm gonna put one of regular clear over the top of it. So you wanna take your time with this and go easy with it just like you would a normal candy job because you're building up materials and it will map around the edges. That's why you see me walking out the car. And I got lucky on this one because it's a small car. I really don't have to walk it out. I can just stretch and get the whole side of this thing in one pass. So we're gonna go ahead and let it tack up. Then we'll go in, we'll put another coat on and we'll be finishing it up.
All right, so far we're looking good. We got all the candy on it now. And now I have my clear mixed up, my normal uh, 2021 clear that I normally use every day. And that's what's on this job with the candy in it. So on the ends of my uh, fender and my quarter, I'm gonna go ahead and put one coat now and blend back into my candy while it's still wet. And then we're gonna put one whole wet coat over the whole job, that way it's sealed up nice. But I wanna get some build now on the ends of my candy and uh, get it leveled back out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so that's the 46V, and that's how I handle it on this here job. So if you ever get in a tight spot, mask up your adjacent panels, get coverage on your area that you need to get coverage on, and then go ahead and pull your paper off and handle it like this. So I'm gonna let this set up a minute, and then I'm gonna pull the paper off the hood and show you that we have a nice match on that edge. And where we have a little bit of that color, I'm gonna show you that it matches. So hang tight, and I'll show it to you guys all finished up. All right, so I'm really happy with the color match on that. And it was just a small area, but I still want it to look good because this is a brand new car and that's the kind of work that I want to produce. So take uh, pride in what you do and go the extra mile. Even though this took me longer to mask it off and uh, do all them steps the way that I did it, we have a nice, beautiful outcome on this job. And that's what we're looking for on this channel. So I hope you guys liked it and uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like the way it looks. And we'll see you guys on the next one.